Hey everyone, it's 20 to 2 in the morning, so the date is now the 17th of January, and I am actually bored. I don't know why, but I really get bored later at night. I'm not tired enough to go to bed. My bedtime seems to be around about 3 o'clock now, when I actually get tired enough to go to bed. <clears throat> anyway, it's also payday, so I went for a little walk earlier just to go and get my money out of the ATM. Uh, I've left enough in there to pay for postage for three parcels. Uh, I think I might actually have enough left over from that to um, get some brake pads for my bike. <clears throat> Anywho, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm flicking through tabs for no reason on the PC. Um, so I've been up to a couple of things anyway to pass the time. I've uh, tested those two CCTV cameras. I've got one to work fine, and it is black and white. I was right. <clears throat> um, and the other one's got a bit of a funny picture. I don't actually know where I put that one. I deliberately left it off its, uh, its stand so I knew which was which. I'm going to head through to the kitchen so I'm going to take some rubbish with me. It might. One of them's laying in the kitchen. The working one is in here. I don't know where the other one is at the minute, but anyway, the working one's here. Um. This is the computer that's got the CCTV software on it. Now, this has been rather temperamental. Um, I'm trying to get it to work so it recognises the hard drives that I put in here, but that's not working. Um, so I might just give up on that completely. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't want to boot up. I hear all the hard drive fire up and everything, but no startup beep which is always done when it's booted and some computers do that and no picture on the screen and then all of a sudden especially if i leave it i bet that'll do it now actually if i turn it on i flip the switch to mine usually if i leave it for a little while No, it's not going to do it. What I should have done is turned it off at the wall, like that. Because that's what I did last night when I got bored with it and uh, left it. <laughs> um, I'm pretty, well, I know for a fact that uh, even though this is an old, you know, white sort of 1998 or Windows 98 era type case, might even be early XP case actually. Because I know some very early XP cases looked a, a bit like this. But either way, that board is far too modern for Windows 98. <laughs> but anyway, when I did get this to boot up, it used to throw up an error for the CCTV software on it. It used to throw up um, two actually. But I got rid of one just by reseating this. But now there's another one. It can't find a key pro, apparently, whatever that is. I don't know if it's something it needs that's accidentally been deleted by someone or it's been corrupted and lost. I don't know. But either way, unfortunately, I can't run the software. So to check this, what I did, I connected it to the TV in the uh, lounge. As that's got an RCA jack on the back, so I connected it on there or a composite in. And uh, I've got a picture, so, but somewhere, and even though it's not actually on its stand, I can't find it. Here it is. It's buried under here. This is the one that's not given out a full picture. It's given out like a, a, I don't know how to describe it, it's sort of blurry, I suppose. You can see this is trying to view something, but there's not a clear picture on there. Um, so I'm going to dissect this one. I don't want to break it because I do want to try and get it working, but we will do a tear down on that and have a look inside. But not tonight. 
Definitely not tonight. Those are the two parcels I've got to print postage labels off and get sent off, preferably tomorrow. Um, but yeah, oh, I've got those lights up on the wall as well. Now, I did like having this one on its stand, but it just kept getting in the way. You know, it didn't matter where I stood it in here, I always had to move it again because it was in the way. So, when I came up with the idea to hang the new marker board up, well, new to me, it's obviously not new, but new to me marker board up there, I decided to hang this one here as well. And uh, in the future, if I do get any more big lamps like this, I will probably hang them there or there. There is the Mark 1 version of that, but that's very hard to get hold of. Um, oh yeah, and the other thing I did, which I can't remember if I've already mentioned it in a video, but I made up this lead. So it's got a socket on it. I've forgotten to put the rubber bit back on, but that doesn't matter. doesn't really need it. So all I've got to do if I want to power it up is pull that cable down from the battery box, plug it in, and on the other end I've got a couple of crocodile clips, so I'll just clip it on top of a, an ordinary 6 volt battery. And I actually took the liberty, while I was at it, of taking the crocodile clips off this one, that I couldn't remember if I actually put those crocodile clips on this lamp, or if it came with it, I can't remember. I think I did. But either way, I took those off and put a male plug on it, so I can do the same thing with this one. So it's just a matter of, you know, just plugging the cable straight in. Bob's your uncle. But, uh, my e-bike that I swapped the Cats Custom Trikes has got this exact same connector on it. Um, I just need two new batteries for that. So, I've done a few things. What I'm going to do in the morning, and I'll continue this video when I've been... There's the alligator clips, by the way. Quite large and bulky ones, as you can see. Which made it difficult clipping it onto a 6 volt battery. But anyway, I digressed a little bit there. Um, yeah, I want to... Obviously get up, go and get breakfast and uh, depending on what time I get up I might just go around all the charity shops before I come back and just eat when I get back. And uh, Provided I can actually uh, find something or some stuff, um, I can do a video on whatever I bring home. I don't know if anybody actually likes those sorts of videos but I do like doing them. I don't know why, I just... I like doing them. Uh, is there anything else I want to mention now? Before I turn the camera off. It won't be long before I actually shut everything down and go to bed anyway. Um, but I do need to use the bathroom before I do that. Otherwise, if I go to sleep now, I can see me waking up and needing to go when I wake up. Which annoys the hell out of me. Just playing with some hard drives earlier, so I'm just going to stack them back in here. Maybe Windows 98 just doesn't recognise a 40 gigabyte hard drive. Because it may not have large disk enabled on it, large disk capability enabled on it, that might be a problem, I don't know, I might have to see if I've got a, a 20 gig up here, I don't think I have to be honest, but there might be something lurking up there, might be able to borrow one from another computer or something, I've got plenty of them, oh, but I do like this machine, here's a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing with this rather newer motherboard in it because it's got um it hasn't got the old uh s was it sddr stuff with the two notches in it 
This has got only got the single notch. I'll show you actually. When Windows 98 was alive and kicking, he says, having to dig through every. That's not the trail one. Whoa! I didn't realise that was there. You know, when Windows 98 and even some Windows 95s, they had these with the two notches, the SD RAM. Single data rate, they called it. Um, whereas XP's, although I did actually get an XP that had that, and it was classed as a gaming machine, E-Machines had a very weird idea on what was considered a gaming machine, but never mind. Yeah, but this one's got that. Double data RAM, or DDR. Who is this stick? 256 megs. I think, and I'm going to have to double check it, but I think Windows 98 can recognise up to 512 megabytes max. I don't think they'll recognise anything greater than that. I could be wrong, that's it. i got to... i got to... Check it. Just trying to get the stick back in. And... It's always a pain in the ass. Because unlike modern computers, where cable management is a big thing now. On older systems like this, cable management's not a thing. <laughs> so you've got all this in the way, so changing the RAM is a bit more frickin' trickier and fiddly. But, uh, yeah, I think that's one of the only reasons I like cable management, where they put the, you know, the cables down the other side there. Where cases are now designed specifically for you to do that. You know, you, on machines like this, I don't really give a monkey's about cable management like that. Because it's not very often I'm going to have to open it up to maintain it. Because, you know, it's not in daily use. Like my uh, desktop over there is. So, I do like cable management on there. Because I have to change RAM or... You know, a, a video card or something. I've not got cables in the way. I've got to work around the sodden cables. Anyway, I'm going to uh, shut down here, go to the loo, go to bed, wake up, do what it is I've got to do. I haven't even decided what I want. I do like sausage rolls from Christopher, so I might get some of them tomorrow. And there's two charity shops up this end of town as well, but I want to go around all of them, so... They often sell out sausage rolls quite quickly, so if I want those, I'm going to get those first. And probably go down the bottom end of the town centre and work up. That's what I normally do. And just have a quick look. Although I never find anything in them bottom two charity shops, so I might not bother. We'll see. Ow. Got a spot down there that I just scratched. Anyway, I'll talk to you. When it's daylight. Okay everyone, it's now just gone 8.30 at night, On the, uh, it's still the 17th so it's just later on. <laughs> Actually if I'd have left it another, about another 6 hours it would have been exactly 24 hours later. But anyway, uh, I did a trek of the charity shops, not a great deal. I've got a DVD on the floor behind me, um, Space Dogs. <laughs> and uh, I'm a bit of a collector of the old school cartoons as well so I've got some of these to go with the rest but uh, they're space dogs I've never seen this film so for 50p I thought I might as well grab that while I was at it uh, A bike lock as well. It's only a cheapy little one, but it's got both keys with it, which is good. <laughs> but uh, I don't recommend these, but if you're in a little town like mine, that should be adequate enough for like just locking it up during the day. Um, 
should be enough of a deterrent so but I actually find these are easier than a padlock and chain although a padlock and chain would be a, a lot more stronger but like I said <clears throat> if you're just popping in at the shop for five minutes or something this should do but I would not trust leaving my bike locked up overnight somewhere with just this because I've done a video before you've seen me I've, I can, you can cut through these with a good hacksaw in less than a minute so and that's when someone is likely to steal it you know they'd come back and see if the bike is still there at night and if it is then you can just even quicker if they're carrying a pair of bolt cutters up their jacket you know and as it's cold this time of year they are likely to be wearing a jacket so it'd be easy to conceal it but anyway yeah daytime use should be good enough um, the other thing I got is uh, the community shop I don't want the Lego with it has got some of these in <clears throat> so I grabbed two might go back tomorrow and grab some more I just want to check the row in there because there's They've got one in the basket, unless they've sold it, which I'm pretty certain I already had. But uh, I got the Nis Nissan, the Nissan Fair Lady Z, and the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. Now I wasn't going to open these because I've got a thing for leaving them in the packets now, but that one is quite beat up, so that one may get opened. Hot Wheel Speed Graphics, Muscle Mania. Number 10 of 10, Muscle Mania. I'm sniffing a bit because I've been outside in the bloody cold and I'm just like my mum, the cold just makes my nose run and all sorts. So I do apologise for the sniffing. Um, but then I went into the Katali shop and I got a bunch of Corgis, a Majorette, a Hot Wheels. And a couple of matchbox cars. So there's the first Corgi I'll show you. Little Buick Regal. I'm actually glad I found this because it is in, it's not in mint condition, but it is in very good condition. Um, but it's also got the little red light where it's meant to be. The number of these I Nemo must have finished his dinner because he's meowing. He does it every time. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the number of these I'll find second hand with this little light pushed into the car that's not far off from it actually looking at that um, I won't pull up any further and it's not springing so maybe it is meant to sit like that but yeah that's so annoying I've got a few of these and most of them have got the bloody light pushed through so I was actually pretty pleased to find that like I said it's not mint but it is in good condition and I am the sort of collector that will settle for good condition like this. Uh, what else? Just a random tractor unit, truck thing. Majorette, just because it's Majorette and I like Majorette. It does actually say what it is on here, made in France. No, it doesn't. One one hundred. Is that the scale? No, that can't be the scale, surely. Yeah, it just says Majorette made in France, because Majorette is French, if you didn't know. Corgi was English. I don't know if it still is. I don't actually know if Corgi still exist. Or did they team up with Lido? I think they teamed up with Lido. I can't remember. I'm not that familiar with my history and whatnot. But uh, I've got this Hot Wheels US mail van. I kind of liked. It's not in bad condition either. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but the blue stripe does look rather scratched up. Actually, no, it's not. Don't you weird how the blue stripe is all scratched up and not the rest of it? Maybe that's just showing more on it. There's a Corgi cement mixer, which I'm going to have to try and fix that front wheel on. It's a little bit beat up, but if I wanted to restore it, I could, because I know a man who can. <laughs> ah, I've just fixed a wheel. 
Yay! It doesn't go around now though. I think the plastic tab that is actually meant to... Ah, that's why. It's still pushed up a bit. I think the plastic tab in the bottom there that's meant to hold the axle down is a bit uh, bent upwards. But at least the wheel is sitting a lot better than it was. It's not 100%. Oh, yeah, the other wheel's not. Oh, no, that's alright then. They're both the same. Okay, I'll shut up then. <laughs> and another corgi, the third corgi. That is rather rough, so I don't actually know why I picked this one up. Probably just because it's a corgi. What does this one actually say when it's corgi juniors? Oh, it's a Leyland Terrier. Hmm, okay. Leyland Terrier. And another corgi. Now, I have got this, but not in as good a condition as this. That's why I got it. So, I'm going to go through my box of corgis and take the other one out and put that up for sale. Um, I joined a group called... Die, the Diecast Scrapyard on Facebook. Um, that was really piss poor grammar. I should have said I joined a Facebook group called The Diecast Scrapyard. I do know how to English, I promise. And um, people sell them on there quite easily, all sorts of cars. These seem to have become quite popular at the minute. So I'm not sure if my interest in collecting these is come at the right time or the wrong time because uh, I sort of went quiet in collecting die-cast cars for a while for about two years actually and uh, now I've got the spark back and I want to collect them again it seems like everybody wants to buy them <laughs> either that or it's always been like that and I just hadn't noticed because I've been quiet for so long anyway I'm going to try and get another one of these in scruffy condition with the other half of that on because that is actually in good nick paint wise it's just missing the rest of the um, boom uh, I've got two more called most of these were corgis didn't know corgi did this one this is now my sixth version of this and it's in relatively good shape so I just want to grab a hook from one if by some miracle I could find a really shabby tow truck like this with a hook then I'll take the hook off and put it on this one. But um, the hook is actually quite a th common thing to go missing. But yeah, I've I never s seen this one before. I'll show you the others what I've got actually when we're done here. Corgi ambulance because I couldn't remember if I actually had this one or not. And that's actually in relatively good condition. So I grabbed that as well. Actually, going back to that Facebook group. Um, I've actually bought some cars from someone on there. I have no idea what this is. Someone enlighten me. I know it's a matchbox. Um, body wise, paint wise, it's in bloody good condition. I don't know if something's snapped off of this. But it seems this can be wound. I think that's meant to be like a um, friction motor in the back there. And you've got this thing here. A little jockey wheel. So I'm guessing it's meant to wheelie like that, and uh, I've got a gear stick on the roof here, which does still move the wheel. You're lucky I do not kick your bum. <laughs> but it's made by Matchbox, but I've never seen one like this. And... Uh, that jockey wheel was actually staying up there and it's not doing it now. There we go. So yeah, I thought that was quite an interesting one. That's a Firebird, I think. Get out of it. Get off. Yeah, it's actually got rubber tyres on the back as well, unusually. Is that Pontiac, does it say on the bottom here? Looks like a Firebird to me. Got Matchbox. Made in Macau. 1984. Ah, uh, 
track something or other and I can't read it. No, but they haven't printed what it is, but I'm pretty certain that's a Pontiac. Nice paintwork. So I'm not actually too fussed that this mechanism doesn't work. The jockey wheel, that's meant to make it do a wheelie, that you can actually put in a different positions using the gear stick on the roof. Um, that still works fine, so yeah, it's a shame about that bit. But uh, no biggie, the paint works great. I don't know. Sounds like a gear wheel or something has come off because that's freewheeling. That's what I was then questioning. Is it actually a friction motor or is it meant to freewheel and do something else? Hmm. I don't know. But it's still a nice little vehicle. I do like that. And I've got like my third one of these as well now. <clears throat> the only reason I'm buying duplicates is because I've seen... Well, this isn't in too bad of condition, to be honest. But people do a lot of uh, custom restorations as well, so... I think it's just nice to have a couple of uh, extras, you know? Anyway, the one thing that I was really glad to have gotten today... Again, was in the community shop, where I got those Hot Wheels cars from. A bunch of these, look. No, that's what I call music. Albums on tape. <clears throat> so that's now 32. I have checked. The tapes are in there. I'm looking for some of these for ages. And these are £2 each. Uh, what's this one? This is now 16. <laughs> what is it? 40 songs? So there's 20 songs in each tape. Actually, no, there's less on this one. Tears for Fears, Wet, 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 Erasure. I might have to go and get one of my portable tape players in here and uh, put some of these on. Uh, now 33, I do believe I've actually got one of these um, on the CD as well as this now. 40 top chart hits. What's that, 10 per tape near enough? Yeah. Smash Hits 1990. I was over the moon when I found these in the shop. And now that's what I call music number 30. Because, to be honest, I didn't think these even would still exist, or they'd be rare as heck now. Mind you, it has taken me months to find these, so... Yeah, pretty pleased that I got some of the um, now music or now now albums on tape as well as CD. I'm curious now. I want to know um, if I've got any of those on CD. So what is it? 32, 33, and 30. I'll show you those other tow trucks while I'm at it. something but that doesn't matter. I've got 35 and 34, 31 there and 33 there. But is that just the one CD? Whoa! Flipping thing. Let's get a bit loose there. I might have to get a new tripod at some point. So I've got the one disc or is it two? Yes, yeah, just the one disc. Okay so I've got the one CD. Well, that's good. That means I haven't really got any duplicate albums. Right. Transit tow trucks. That was the next one. So I've got the BP one in white. I've got the BP one in yellow. The BP rescue. I've got 
couple here that I wish were in better condition but I've got the AA and the police rescue one yeah so that one through there would actually be my fifth and I need a hook for that one I'm sure I've got some more duplicates somewhere got some duplicates there I want to get a photo of those and uh, put those up on that group and see if I can sell some I don't know what they're bloody worth though really don't know what they're worth I forgot to bring some paper back from mum so I could uh, print some postage labels off which has kind of ticked me off so that means I've got to mess around in the morning and uh, go buy some which is probably not a bad thing because I could do with some paper <sighs> I wonder if anyone on that group has actually got a spare hook or even a tatty one of these that I could buy with a hook just to steal the hook off of it I mean if you like your die cast cars of any scale it's not just um, this scale that they're, the members are into they do all scales um, and you like custom work, it's a good group. Um, someone has actually just taken one of these, cut the cab off, and uh, basically mated it to an, the back end of an ambulance. So they got a matchbox ambulance, cut the cab off of that, so they had just the back box, and then they just stuck the two together. <laughs> How he sorts out the chassis when he does things like that, I don't know. But uh, yes, some members really do go all out when they make a custom vehicle. Uh, but it's not just on that group I've seen custom work done. There's a um, fire service model group I'm on. And um, there's people on there that custom build their own model fire engines. So I just find it fascinating. Probably more than, um, you know, an actual proper restoration where they're put back as they were when they were released from the factory which is great you know I do like that as well but I also like the customs that people do I didn't look on my shelf did I to see if I had one of these I think I have but it's a rather tatty one should we go have a look and then I'll shut the video off I think and call it a day so let's just quickly have a look Yep, I have. And is it as tight as I thought it was? Yes, it is. So, play swapsies. That one can go down there. and go into my job lot of vehicles to go and sell. And that one can go up there. And like I said, as that is now a duplicate. I mean, someone might, but I don't know. I might not sell that because I do like these. Have I got another one up there? Oh yeah, I have. I got that one. I did a few versions over the years. In fact, I believe that one came in a like a a set. I was going to say a box set, but it didn't really come in a box. It was just like a blister pack with a few cars stuck to it. I think it was that, a police car and something else. Um, see, I really do like that. But do I really need to? I mean, I've got several or a couple of these Ford Sierras, and I've put one there, and the same with that, and yada yada. Ooh. Ooh. Is this a spare one, or have I actually got the fire truck that that goes to? If I haven't, I know exactly what fire truck it's going to go on. You know when I said I was going to check that and... Oh, I have got another one. Ah, oh, fucking tripod. Ah! Oh, it doesn't like that, does it? How about that? Yeah, the fire engine I thought of has actually got it on there. 
So, what I'm going to go and do is go and put this on the other fire engine. And that will actually increase its value. So, I'm actually surprised the number of times that camera's fell that hasn't jolted the battery and lost connection and shut the camera off. I'm really, really surprised at that. Right. So what I want is this one. I don't even know where this came from. I don't know if I've got another one of these lurking around that's in rough shape. And well, that just goes on there like that. Job done. It's another one that's, well, if I really wanted to, I could give that to my stepdad and he could spray it red for me because there's no decals on it. Look, it is just plain red. I might actually get him to do that, actually, at some point in the future. Because uh, uh, I used to have hundreds as a kid and uh, I actually did have a number of these as well when I was a kid. Loved them. Love this style of um, fire truck. Was it 1977? I believe this was. Yep, copyright 1977. It just says snorkel fire engine number 13. Matchbox super fast, I think. Actually, looks pretty good with that on there, doesn't it? Yes. Just a bucket truck, as they call them in America. <laughs> well, I like it. Anyway, I'm going to quit my jabbering and uh, end this video. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.